You're on. Oh, I'm Santa Claus, and I'm watching the Balloon Blast video show. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Rise above three twist balloon dogs. No bad clowns and cheap wigs here. Raise the bar. Prove our art form. It's the Balloon Blast video show with Scott Tripp and Sam Crummy. Hi, folks, and welcome back to episode 34 of Balloon Blast. <laughs> wow. Why I do know we do it? how we made it this uh, long. For those of you wondering, this is Sam Crummy. And this is Scott Tripp. And of course, this <coughs> is everybody's favorite purple pig. Um, <laughs> we got a lot of stuff going on this week. It's a special Christmas episode. Of course, that's why we're dressed the way we are with our fancy hats. I'm, and of course, says. the Santa Claus, and you are my trusty reindeer. <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, just, uh, something like that. Uh, anyway, I've got a series of four quick and easy restaurant and line work Christmas hats coming your way this episode. Scott's got a review of a uh, instructions for a spider from Matt Falloon. Matt Falloon from PureBalloonacy.com. There we go. And that will be the bottom of the screen right there. Yeah, yeah. if you're watching up, this on YouTube. We're coming up to the screen right there. Maybe if it's embedded on Facebook or something. Yeah. Not, but, eh. If it's on YouTube, it'll still be embedded on Facebook with that in it. So, anyway, that'll be right there on us at YouTube. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, what else we got going on this week, Scott? What else this week? Well, right now, I'm worn out. We both are, I think, from this 12 project. What oh, started yeah. as a funny joke wound up... Uh, it turned into work. Yeah, well. <laughs> but we have had a lot of response for it, and there's still only a very limited number of copies uh, available. Right. 144 grand total. Yay. Some of those are already sold. So if you haven't got your 12 project yet, get a hold of us through uh, PayPal. PayPal at, at bloomblastvideoshow at gmail .com. Right. Awesome. In fact, a lot of people watching this have theirs right now. Yes. So. Now they have a 20-minute episode of this show to watch, plus a two-hour DVD. Yeah, a two-hour DVD. <sighs> wow. Once again, you know, you start with a joke and you wind yeah, up... Uh... Yeah, yeah that's, that's the way it goes. So, what's new with you this week? What's new with me? Oh, <laughs> i got to tell you, I love the folks over at Lorox. Oh, oh, great company. I uh, do a bi-weekly order from Lorox, and it usually runs anywhere between two and usually in the neighborhood of about $350. So between $200, $350 every two weeks in balloons, because I do stuff like this way too much. Um, but from their warehouse over in Charleston to here in Nashville, I get next day delivery, so it's great. And, and what a, do you pay for delivery? At my cost, nothing, because Yay. anything over $150 is free delivery. Um, it's fast service. If they have any issues, like if they're out of stock on something that I have ordered, they call immediately. We replace it or we get it cut from the order. I love them over there. They have all your balloon and magic tricks and face painting and clowning needs over there. So um, if you haven't been over to Lorox, um, I'm sure most of us have, but keep keep going over to there too. Order from them. They are, they are outstanding. And they're our official sponsor for this week. Yes. You can see them at L-A-R-O-C-K-S dot com. Right, and that'll be right down here. Right. All right, well, people love hearing us talk. <laughs> no, I'm they sure they do, but <laughs> let's get right into it. Coming right back with some of those uh, balloon hats, one of which is this reindeer hat that Scott's wearing. And the other is not this. And it's not this, because this is not a quick and easy hat. <laughs> Hi, folks, with the Christmas season being just days away, I'm going to show you four really quick and easy hats that have been serving me well during this time of year. We're going to start of course with a Santa Claus hat and right over here I'm going to start this hat with a 350 in white. I'm going to measure around the head. Now I'm not doing anything groundbreaking here. I'll, I'll warn you now. Some of this I'm sure has been done 10,000 times. Take off our excess, let it go. Scott's going to pick that up later probably and hoard it into a bucket. <laughs> Now you want to take that after you tie it together on one end and split it right in the middle just like that. So you got your donut ring. Now since it's Santa Claus, we do need our red 350. I'm going to twist a about a two inch pinch twist in the nozzle end and tie it right into the split 
on the white 350. We're going to take our red 350, split it in half. We've got a little bit of a tail we want to leave on there for that because we got some expansion due to making two one inch pinch twists right in the center of the top of that red 350. So it looks like that. Now we'll take the end of our three red 350, tie it off in a little bubble, put it in a split, hang it right there. We've got white balloons chasing me all over the table. And here's where the white balloons actually come in. We tie one of those into the top of those two pinch twists at the very top. So it is the puff ball on the hat. We give a little bit of a twist. And that right there is a quick enough, easy enough Santa hat, but I don't leave anything simple. All right, now, that's a good enough Santa hat by itself right there, but I like to take it up to the next level. We're gonna take two white 260s, tie them together at the nozzle end, wrap that around the pinch twist on this side of the hat, spiral these around each other, until you get a good length of a beard going on. Take the remainder of those 260s, twist them together, and into the ball on the end of the hat on the other side of the white part there. Take off your excess. Take off your excess there as well. Tie those together so they don't come undone. And you have a nice little Santa hat with a beard. <laughs> all right, now, all right, now for the elf hat, what we're gonna do is the same thing with the Santa Claus hat. We're gonna start with our white 350. We're gonna leave just a little bit of an end on the nipple there. Bring it around, meet the other side. We're gonna split it right in the middle once more to have our hat band. This time we're gonna take a lime green 350 with about uh, two fingers worth of nozzle or nipple on that end right there. And the nozzle end, we'll do our pinch twist again. Tie that into the split. Bring it up here. Split the green 350 in half. Do two pinch twists once more. little ball on the end. Take it and tie it into the other split on the white. Just like that, it's the same base. Give it a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a twist. Our white puff ball, tie it into the top, just like on the Santa hat. All right, now that's our basic hat. That's good enough by itself, but I like to be a little crazy, so it needs big old elf ears. We're gonna do this with a blush 260 with uh, about three fingers width left on the uninflated end. I'm gonna do about a one and a half inch to two inch bubble on the nip on the nozzle end. A one and a half inch pinch twist. Around about a four inch loop twist. Come up here to this end where we still got just a little bit of our 260 uninflated and bring it down to that pinch twist there. We're gonna give it a shot twist about a hand width up. Like so. Bring it up here. Give it another shot twist in about the middle or so. And a good little bend like that. And we'll take our two inch bubble on the end on the very nozzle end there. And tie it in with the end of the green 350. One elf ear. Let's do the other elf ear real fast. Two inch bubble, inch and a half pinch twist, about a four inch loop twist. Bring it down, tie it in. I know this is so repetitive. Hand width, shock twist, boom. Up to the middle, shock twist, a little bit of a bend, twist, and 
right in right there on that part of the hat as well. Position them where they sort of hang down just a little bit. And there you have your Christmas elf hat. All right, let's continue with the Christmas theme. We'll do candy cane hat. I love this hat. All right, this starts with a lime green 260 for the base. You can also use a uh, regular uh, green 260. Tie it in like so to make your regular hat base just like this. Okay, that's the easy part. Now, right, now we're going to use a red 260 inflated with just about two fingers width uninflated. We're going to do the same thing with a white. Whew, I don't mouth inflate very often and that's why. All right, we'll leave just a little bit uninflated on the white 260. We're going to put a pinch twist in the nozzle end of each of these. About an inch and a half, two inch pinch twist. Like so. Twist them together so they're hold secure. Of course, give them that spiral that I like so much. We got a little bit left over here on the ends, and that's a good thing, because that's where we're going to mount it onto the hat base. Make a series of bubbles, almost like flower petals, to make sure we have a good mounting position on that hat. A little bit of a bend. So we have our candy right, cane. Now. That would be standalone by itself, but I also like to put a bow on there just to help Christmas it up a little bit. So we're going to start with a red 260 inflated with about a hand width. Go a hand width bubble, inch and a half pinch twist, about an 8 inch loop, probably closer to a 10 inch loop. Do another one just like that. Take what's left of it there, wrap it around our candy cane. Work it on there, tie it around really good. Shape those bows, the ears on the bow, like that. Wrap it onto our hat base with those flower petals on the bottom. Make sure it's nice and stable. And this is a fun little hat to use and I love it so much. Hello. Hey, we talked a lot on this show. I have to talk some more, so let's keep this short. I just downloaded uh, one of the newest digital downloads from PureBalloonacy.com. This is from Matt Falloon, who's from Tasmania, Australia, somewhere thereabouts. Um, this is a spider. It's sort of like a black widow spider. I think they have different bugs down there, you know, different part of the world. Uh, Redback spider, and we we've seen different spider designs before. This one has some uh, fun little detailed bits on there, which of course I love the quirky stuff there. Um, the way he has the eyes and the uh, distortion on the five-inch round. But what I really like is for only five dollars, you get the seven-page instructions and the way he lays this out. It's a uh, very comic book style, very big, bright colors, easy to follow. Um, in fact, you don't even have to read. You can just look at the pictures and it basically it twists the balloons for you. It's that good. But he has some other stuff there. I'm planning to buy more and checking it out. So please do the same. PureBalloonacy.com. Matt Falloon. Well, that was something. That was indeed something. That brings us to the end of yet another week. Shed um, it here. Um, this is our last episode before Christmas. And I mm -hmm. thought I'd blindside you with... Oh, no. The Christmas gift. Oh, <laughs> it's now very carefully wrapped. I see that. Let's. Uh, I use duct tape, not gaffer tape. Yeah. A little unwrapping music. A little unwrapping music. <laughs> With a theremin background. Oh, what have you done here? It, it's safe for TV. Uh, is it a 12er video? No. Is it 12? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't get a free one of those. You have to pay for it. All right. Oh, nice. Three things we know about you. Number Zom one. I love zombies. Zombies. Zombies and What would be number keys. two, then? Number two. Let's go small first. Let's go small first. I'll at the, at the bottom. Zombies play along. What would number two be? Toothpaste? Bacon toothpaste. Bacon. Oh, you're killing me. Zombies, bacon, and you got to Oh, and 
That is the greatest thing ever. Oh, <laughs> that's why we had to do this on the show. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. That is a balloon doggy jelly mold, and uh, the way Tara loves to make Jello shots. Ah. <laughs> oh, That'll be a tipsy dog, dude. That's yeah. So we have our after credits for next episode. <laughs> we do. We do. Oh, right. that's that's. Thank you, Scott. Thank oh, you so no. very much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being a part of whatever it is we do. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. I mean, that was, <laughs> wow, that's, wow. Uh, I, I just don't have words. Uh, <laughs> what, what can you have? All right. <laughs> well, these people, we put them through enough this week. Yes, yes, we have. So, uh, until next week, <laughs> he's Scott Tripp. Hey, Sam Cremains. You guys have a great week. Merry Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. You and I in a little toy shop Buy a bag of balloons with the money we've got Set them free at the break of dawn So one by one, they were gone Back at the base, sparks in the software Flash the message, someone's out there Floating in the summer sky 99 red balloons go by